Send to heal the contract of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came down to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand side of the Father, interceding for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and grant us life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, When shall I rise? Then at the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing praise to our God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel he gathers. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, there is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with the stewardship. What then is my recompense? That, when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as 
possible. To the weak I become weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simeon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grabbed her hand, and held her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak, because they knew him. Rising very early, before dawn he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose I have come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole Logali. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, the Gospel before us this morning presents to us the true picture of the completion of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Preaching, healing the sick, driving out demons, and at the same time, moving on to other places to proclaim the good news of salvation that brought him, indeed, the kingdom. Jesus himself is ready, healing humanity with compassion, care, love and concern and so from today's gospel we are being encouraged that the healing ministry of our lord jesus christ continues just as the sacrament of the sick always convey to us for through that sacrament we receive healing through the compassion message of god in the spirit of forgiveness. And this is the particular moment in human history where the entire world, humanity in general, the ecology, the universe at large, needs healing, the healing presence of God. And so we have been encouraged that given all that is happening around us, we will all be able to show compassion and embody the healing presence of God for one another, especially in our homes, in our place of works, and also through the people we meet on the road. Humanity needs healing. And Jesus also reminds us that as the Messiah of the world, it is by self-sacrificing and reaching out to others that the kingdom also become fully manifested. And so he was ever ready to take bold steps, to move out of his comfort 
goes on to break new grounds so that other people can also benefit the healing, the presence, the teaching, and the driving away of demons from them. And Jesus does so by always consulting the Father in prayer. That after communicating with the Father, having set some time aside, he could only tell the disciples who were functioning as intermediaries between him, Jesus, and the public that it is time to move on. Meaning, whenever Jesus communed with the Father in prayer, he sought for guidance and direction to move on to the next level. And I think, looking at what is happening in humanity and our human history, it is time for men and women of God, each and every one, to consult God in prayer, to seek for direction, to seek for guidance in order to move on. Many are those who are fully stacked in their decision and in their situations. They don't know when and how to move on. Jesus in today's gospel gave us a cue that the best way to move on is to consult God in prayer. And he will offer you the needed direction through the sincere spirit of discernment and through his words that come to you, through that quietude that enable us to challenge our own comfort zones so that in moving on, we shall move towards healing our own selves and the healing of others. We shall move on to become the face of God for others. We shall move on to bring the needed change that you and I need to observe so that the spread of the coronavirus will be the turn of the past. May the words of our Lord Jesus Christ through the masses offered throughout the world on this particular Sunday bring healing to humanity and the entire universe through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord our God, who once established this great offense, 
to sustain us in our faith. Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion, for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of a virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks said the blessings, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, a little bit, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said the blessings, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with Saint Joseph and Moses' powers, 
with your blessed apostles and all the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your loving church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you as their passing from this life. Give kind administering to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, to God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord remain always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall not be
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant that we pray so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, dear friends, for this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Show.